Artificial Blood, Heart and Valves by kscience.com. This is a person and they've been in a car accident and they're quite injured. So they've lost a lot of blood. Losing a lot of blood can be a problem because it reduces the oxygen and the glucose being delivered to respiring cells. This person has lost blood. So if someone has lost blood, paramedic would use a saline solution. They'd use a saline solution, which is effectively salty water. And this saline solution is then connected to the blood supply of the patient. And then they're going to have their blood replaced with this artificial blood. And this saline solution replaces the lost blood until they get to hospital where they'll get a blood transfusion to replace the blood cells they lost in the car accident. It's possible to survive with one third of your red blood cells in your body at one time. But of course, they're going to need a blood transfusion when they get to the hospital to replace the red blood cells they lost in the car accident. The saline solution, which is the artificial blood, and it keeps you alive even if you lose 66% of your red blood cells. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This person has had heart failure, has had heart failure. Their heart has stopped working properly and they need a new heart. If they can't find a matching heart for a transplant, they might need an artificial heart during the waiting time for a new heart before it's transplanted into them. So this here is an artificial heart made of plastic and metal and it has a motor in it. And this artificial heart replaces their failed heart. Because it's made of plastic and metal and not real cells, it won't be rejected by the person's immune system. Because it's made of plastic and metal, it won't be recognized as foreign by the immune system. So there are negatives. The motor can fail. Clots are more likely. And more drugs are required to thin the blood. So you need to take drugs that thin the blood. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. What I'm drawing here is a human heart. And this person, their valves in their heart have stiffened. Their valves in their heart have stiffened. So when the valves stiffen, they don't open and close properly. So when someone's valves stiffen, they don't open and close properly. So instead of having their entire heart replaced with a heart transplant or even a artificial heart, they can have a valve transplant, which is still invasive surgery, but it's much less invasive than replacing the whole heart. So you can use biological valves, or you can transplant mechanical valves. So you can use biological valves from cows or pigs, but these can be rejected by the immune system. Or you can transplant mechanical valves. Mechanical valves. These are man-made, so won't be rejected by the immune system. So the positives of valve transplants is that a valve transplant is less dangerous and less invasive than a heart transplant itself. However, blood clots can happen. So that's a negative. Blood clots can happen. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. 
Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.